it makes these playoffs way more interesting because, I mean, you think the biggest excuse for some of these teams in the West is like youth. Like we're talking mm-hmm. about like teams like the Thunder, teams like the Timberwolves. It's like, yeah, they're great in the regular season, but if they match up, there would be people who would pick some of these lower seeds off of just experience because these teams are so young. So right. it's going to be interesting. It's going to make the playoffs even uh, more interesting just because, say, teams like the Thunder or the Timberwolves make it far, then it's like that experience, you know what I mean? They kind of overcame that hurdle. So it makes the playoffs a lot more interesting. It's, it's going to be – uh, we talked about it before. I think every matchup is going to be exciting. Like, there's going to be no, there's no layups in the whole, the whole West, bro. The the tenth seed is a scary tenth seed. Like, right. Like, it's wild. I I like that you brought up the youth because I, it's something I thought about, and it was coming out of listening to LeBron's pod with JJ, where he talked about, and I think we talked about it in maybe one of the most recent episodes. How people really have dog Tatum as of late, obviously going back to the fact that it's like, well, he's gone to the Eastern Conference Finals so many times. He made it to the finals, but they, he just he hasn't won it yet. And mm-hmm. I feel like he catches so much slack for that. And LeBron was like, dude's got to remember, like, I didn't, he's like, I didn't win my first one until I was 28. Mm-hmm. Talking about Giannis and Jordan didn't win until they were 27. Jokic was 27 or 28. Right. Um, I think that narrative, when we look back, Let's say five, ten years from now, that's going to shift, bro. We're going to start having guys who are coming in at 18 or 19. They're going to take those first two, three years to really develop. And we're seeing guys hit these really high peaks earlier and earlier. Luca, obviously, and like right now, they're anomalies in a sense. Like Luca coming in as ready as he was. Obviously, he's been playing professional basketball for so long, playing for Real Madrid in Spain. Um, or even like a guy like Wemby, obviously we're talking about Anthony Edwards. Shea has kind of been ascending on this path um, for a while now. I think we're going to continue to see guys come in and then like by like 22, 23, it's like they're going to be ready to start. If the team around them is constructed well enough, they're going to be ready to start contending. And we're going to soon see a team get in like potentially could be this year. Like there's no – the, the team like the Timberwolves or the Thunder have – they check all the boxes of what you would typically like to see for most aspects in a championship team. Um, the Thunder, I would say, probably even more so than the Timberwolves because they've got, you know, solidified defense and a solidified offense, and then mm-hmm. they've got all the other pieces around them. They've got ridiculous shooting. Like, I can go on and on about that team, but um, – like, I think very soon we'll see a team, like, led by a young guy, 23, 24-year-old, just, like, go out and do it. And, like, you see that a couple more times. Like, you might – that experience is going to start to mean a little bit less because guys are just going to come in so early. And it's like – honestly, like, we might not even be saying the same thing if Tatum had gotten it done when they were, you know, against Golden State. Because, like, yeah. even LeBron said, like, the Celtics were the more talented team but then that boils back down to the experience. But it's like, you're going to, there's going to be somebody that's going to come in. They're going to go on like one or two playoff runs super early in their career. And they're going to be like 23, 24. And they're just going to click and they're going to get it done. And yeah. gonna, that age is going to start going younger and younger. You know what I mean? But obviously it's still going to be for a very select few, but I think we're reaching a point where the, the talent is just peaking in ways that it's never, never has before in the NBA. Um, and I really think we're going to see young guys being able to to ascend to that level sooner because they're able to come in earlier and just like get up to speed faster. I think it's going to be interesting to see if that was going to be like you said. Right now, a lot of these guys are like anomalies. It's going to be interesting to see if that becomes the flat out norm or versus we're just going to have people who do it. You know what I mean? Because like right. even let's say like a team like let's just say let's just start out there the Thunder win the championship, right? That doesn't mean for every young team that comes in the league now, it's just like, no, the Thunder did it, so they can do it. And that could right. still just be the anomaly. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it's going to be interesting to see if that's, like, what's going to be the norm. Because when you look at, like, a lot of these young guys that even get far, let's even let's talk about, like, a Tatum, it, it's it's really tough to complete it. Like, it's tough to win the whole thing. Like, we've seen Tatum get over the struggle of, like, you know, like, Game 7 in the like Eastern Conference Finals, like, win that. But then when we get to the finals, it's like you see him, like, if we're just being honest, kind of crumble. 
going mm-hmm. up against what a team that's not as talented. Like I feel like everybody, unless you're a Warriors fan, think that the Warriors weren't as talented as the Celtics. But right. you got Steph Curry, who's been there multiple times. You got Draymond, who's been there multiple times. You have a coach who's been there multiple times. Like, you just have a more experienced team that's been there. They know what it takes mm-hmm. as far as adjustments, as far as strategy, as far as even as something as simple as, like, stamina. You know what I mean? Being used right, to playing yeah. all the, all those games, all the you series. And you 100-plus games when you get to the finals. Like, you are exactly. you're probably deep. A uh, guy, so, so let's say a guy who's never been that far. You might think you, you might think you're in great shape, but when you get there, you've played games. You, you played many games that you don't think you've ever played in your life. Now it's like, oh, you're kind of burnt out because you're not used to making it this far. Right. So I think that it'd be like I said, it'd be interesting to see if that becomes a norm. But it's gonna like some whoever does it though, like that young guy that comes in and then wins it, it's gonna be a special player, like a really special player because the person that you're probably going to face in the finals whoever it may be is probably going to be a guy who's been there before a guy who's done it before another one of the top players in the league probably way older than you so like i said it's just going to take a very very special player but it's definitely not not out of the the realm of possibility for sure especially because like you said a lot of guys are coming into the league a lot more i mean a lot younger i mean and then they're coming to the into the league so skilled already so mm-hmm. kind of refined already so it's going to be interesting to see if that happens relatively soon. Mm-hmm.